Hello, hello. Welcome, guys. How are you? Welcome, welcome. How are you guys? Hello, I'm fine. Excellent. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's do it. Welcome, Elena. Welcome, Maria. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening, Maritza. Good evening, Reina. Good, Good evening. Hello, hello, guys. Who can tell me what information do you remember from yesterday's class? What vocabulary do you remember? What activities do you remember from yesterday's class? About illness. Very good. Can you give me some examples, please? Yes. Uh, whenever I have a headache, I take mm -hmm. an aspirin. Excellent. Whenever I have a headache, I take an aspirin. That's perfect. Now, does anybody have any questions related to the topics that we were looking at yesterday? Do you have any questions related to the vocabulary or anything like that? Uh, I have uh, a question. Yes. Um, what is the pronunciation? He dolor de cabeza. Uh, headache. 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 Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. So today we're going to start section two. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing parts of the body. Listen to the video, please. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for discussing different parts of the body. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Parts of the body. Head. Eye. Ear. Nose. Mouth. Tooth. Teeth. Chin. Back. Shoulder. Chest, stomach, throat, neck, wrist, arm, elbow, thumb, hand, finger, fingers, leg, knee, ankle, foot, Feet, toe, toes. Make sure that you memorize this vocabulary. An easy way to do this is by pointing to your head and expressing, this is my head. Then pointing to your arm and saying, this is my arm. Remember, the goal is to learn this vocabulary. So do this until you have learned all the vocabulary words. All right. Now for this activity, we're going to go ahead and look at this right here. This is my arm. This is my leg. I would like for you to give me at least 10 examples or eight examples with body parts, body parts. This is my nose. These are my hands. You're going to give me at least eight examples here on the discussion forum. Do you understand? Using the vocabulary. Any questions? No question. All right. No question. We're going to have five minutes. 
please work in pairs. You will have five minutes. Please work in pairs. Lo, uh, hagámoslo primero en el cuaderno para que después solo lo escribamos. Va, entonces quiero ver lo de la imagen más cerca. Usted ya tiene la imagen. Sí. Ah, bueno, entonces sería la primera. This is Ace, mis ojos. Yes. Eh, esa sería la primera, ¿verdad? Sí. La segunda sería This is Albur, mi codo. Mm, bye. Eh, la This tercera. is my stomach. My stone. Uh, four sería. This is my hand. My hand. <laughs> Lo mismo pensamos, sí. My hand. Y um, five sería. Left. Eh, ¿Cuál, perdón? Excuse me. Pierna, left. Ah, también. Uh -huh. Podemos ahora escribirlo en, en el post. En el foro. Sí. Va a estar ahí. Veamos, uh -huh. si lo escribimos, repitámoslo si gusta para que, para que podamos ahí. Sería. This is my ace. Eh, como título vocabulario, ¿verdad? Ah, él dijo que pusiéramos body, body parts, partes del cuerpo. Ah, partes del cuerpo. Sí. Bien. Y la primera es This is Chu. Ace, ¿verdad? Chu. Sí. Bien. Is this, this,
This is my hat. Uh, this is my hair. Ok, también tenía una duda con la pronunciación de pecho, en este caso si sería así como comentaba usted Marco, sería cat. No, en that case, that will be chest. Chest, chest. Yeah, depend on, depends on the, the context, so let me see. No, no sabría explicarle exactamente cuándo es de que ese H va a sonar como una K, pero este sí sé de que cuando se refiere a stomach, pronuncia CH, uh -huh. like a K. Pero cuando es chest, la, sí la va a ocupar exactamente como está ahí. Ah, entiendo. Gracias. You're welcome. Okay. Did you finish your examples? Yes. Can you tell me your examples? Okay. Bueno, hice 10 ejemplos. Lo voy a decir okay. todo. Okay. This is my nose. This is my foot. These are our feet. This is my leg. This is my hand. Those are her legs. This is my knee. This is my ear. This is my back. These are my eyes. And the, the last one is my, my ojos, ¿verdad? Exacto. Yes. My eyes. My eyes. Exactly. But that was cool. So, well, dear, can okay. you tell me your examples, please? Okay. So, solo una consulta antes de seguir. En el ejemplo de, 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 de María José, ella dice que tiene lo, los ojos. No sé si es correcto que digamos, eh, también algún ejemplo, eh, estos son mis ojos. O sea, o, o tengo los ojos. Eso trate de... No, 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 sí, sí, eso es lo que estoy diciendo, pero no, no, perdón, que diga, mis ojos son como descriptivos, mis ojos son azules, cafés. No sé si es correcto. Okay. You, you, if you want to talk about plural, I don't know if this is the correct pronunciation. Pero si quieres hablar de, de tus dos ojos, estás hablando en plural. So, okay. si tú quieres decir mis ojos son azules, you have to say my eyes are blue. My yeah. eyes uh -huh. are brown, for example. And if you want to say estos son mis ojos, you have to say these yeah. are my eyes. Porque estás hablando en plural. No estás hablando solo de un ojo, sino de los dos. Ya cuando entran dos, ya se pasa a plural. No, sí, sí, entiendo eso. Lo que yo decía que sí, es correcto adicionar como la descripción del color de los ojos en este, en este caso, pues. Ya, yeah, you can do it. Ah, ok. Ok, voy con ese ejemplo entonces. Ok. Ok. This is my nose. This is my eyes. Eyes. Eyes, eyes, excuse me. This is my yeah, hand. This is my ankle. This is this my heart. This is my foot. This, this is my back. This is my nose. Uh, finish. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Just a question. No sé si dijiste un ejemplo con cabeza, corazón. No, no escucho muy bien. No, corazón. Oh, corazón. Corazón. Okay. Uh, repeat, corazón, please. 
this this my hair my heart heart. No sé cómo se llama. heart heart exactly okay thank you sí, la verdad porque hair se puede confundir como pesado o fuerte verdad algo así mm, if you want to talk about the, the fuerza you can say strong or yeah Strong. Oh, como algo duro, Ajá, no sé, como hard. hard. Ajá, creo que se podría confundir con esa parte. Uh, no, the thing is, like, if you say, if you don't pronounce the correct form, eh, se puede confundir con hair, que sería cabello. Ah, uh, ok. Uh, so, if you want to talk about your, tu corazón, it's hard, with the T at the end. And if you want to talk about your, your tu cabello, it's your hair without the T. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. So I'm going to say my examples. Let me see. Okay. This is my arm. This is my leg. This is my head. This is my chest. This is my elbow. This is my nose, this is my shoulder, and this is my thumb. That's all. Okay. Okay. Yo tenía una duda, no sé si ustedes saben, en cuanto a la escritura y pronunciación de diente y el plural dientes. Porque diente tengo entendido que es tot y dientes es tit. Correct. O sea, la diferencia de la O y la E si me confundí un poco. Vaya, cuando, disculpen eso, tengo conectado aquí una red. Este, cuando hablamos solo de un diente... Por ejemplo, por ejemplo, los lo de enfrente, los de atrás, una muela, whatever. You gonna say tooth. Y si, y si hablamos de dientes, ya en más plural, sería teeth. No sé si quiere oír la pronunciación. Eh, please. <laughs> ok. No sé si se va a escuchar. A teeth. Tooth. Ah, ok, sí, sí. Sí. Ok, thank you. Other questions? No. No. Ok. We finish it fast. And guys, how are you? Fine. I'm glad.
Sí, para, para ver las partes del cuerpo y decir, this is my, my, my L. L. Uh -huh, okay. This is my L. This is my okay. L. Now we're going to go ahead and move forward and we're going to be looking at section 2.2. By the end of this class, you will learn how to use have plus noun and feel plus adjective to express health problems. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Homesick. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Now let's take a look at the examples on this chart. Have plus noun. Feel plus adjective. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to express different illnesses. For example, I have a headache. I don't feel well. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I feel homesick. I feel homesick. Hey, Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Now let's take a look at the examples on this chart. Have plus noun. Feel plus adjective. What's the matter? What's wrong? I have a headache. I have a backache. I have the flu. How are you? How do you feel? I feel homesick. I feel better. I don't feel well. Negative adjectives. Sick. Awful. Terrible. Miserable. Positive adjectives. Fine. Great. Terrific. Fantastic. I would like to start by explaining the example on the left-hand side of this chart. How to form statements with have plus noun. We can follow this formula to do that. Subject plus have plus noun. Let's analyze the first example. I have a headache. The subject is I. Then we need to put have. Finally, we include a noun, a headache. Let's take a look at one more example. I have the flu. The subject is I. Then we need to put have. Finally, we include the noun, the flu. Now, I would like to show you how to form statements with feel plus adjective. We can follow this formula, subject plus feel plus adjective. Let's analyze the example, I feel homesick. The subject is I, then we need to add feel. Finally, we need to put an adjective, homesick. Or it can be any of these adjectives towards the right. I feel sick, awful, terrible, miserable, fine, great, terrific, fantastic. Now it's your turn to practice giving examples of your own. Try to use the vocabulary and try to make examples using half plus noun and feel plus adjective. 
All right, now for this activity, I would like for you to give me 10 examples using the negative adjectives and the positive adjectives. And I want you to write your sentences here on the discussion forum, at least 10 examples in pairs. Are you ready? Let's go. Vamos a hacer diez oraciones. Sí. Vaya. Número uno. Tenemos sick output. La uno I feel. I feel sick. La número dos. I feel sick. No, esa ya está. Tiene que ser. Con los What? adjetivos que vimos en el video. Puede ser positivo. Sí, 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 sí. Vaya, um, dígame la, la número dos. I feel fantastic. Ok. Número tres, I feel awful. Número cuatro. Terrific. I feel terrific. Número cinco, I feel fine. Número seis. Great. I feel great. great. Número siete. I feel miserable. Didier dijo, ¿verdad? Siete. ¿Siete? Sí. ¿Cuál fue el Vamos. último? Disculpe. I feel miserable. Miserable. Gracias. Miserable. Y hay que ponerlo en el foro, ¿verdad? Mm, yo creo que sí, si nos, si nos ha puesto el tiempo. Porque yo lo estoy escribiendo en el cuaderno. Vaya, la 8. I feel, bueno, que solo son 8. Ya las tenemos todas entonces. Las que vimos ahí. Solo esas entonces. Escribamos las allá. En la plataforma. Vaya. ¿Cómo se le pudiera poner al... al en el tema. Ajá. Um, no, déjame ver. Sustantivo más... Más adjetivo. No. Bueno, es que el have plus noun, pongámosle. Mm. 
quiero ver. Los demás solo le han puesto example, example. Uh -huh. oh. Practice. Y todo el have más, a uh, no fail hajet conversion. I feel so homesick. I feel better. I feel homesick. Homesick. Aha. Y la otra también. I feel better. I feel better. Homesick, ¿qué quiere decir usted? Me siento. Y yo entendí que dijo que íbamos a hacer solo de esto, de los negative object y positive object. Sí, es que los los Thank you. 
is good. Ah, oh, perfecto. Entonces está bien. Sí, porque el otro, el de Google, es más como generalizado. O tal vez ni nada que ver lo que uno está queriendo decir. Eh, sí, más o menos. But, o sea, bueno, aquí tenemos ya todo. No solo me falta él. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me have one volunteer, please. Let me have one volunteer, please. One volunteer. Sí, Dominico. Para hacer lo que... Okay, go ahead, Roxana. I feel sad. I feel sad. Okay, excellent. Very good example. I feel fantastic. Very good. I feel fantastic. Mm -hmm. I feel grown. Okay, I feel well. Uh huh. I feel happy. I feel happy. Okay. I feel fine. I feel fine. Excellent. I feel awful. I feel awful. Okay. I feel terrible. I feel terrible. That's right. I feel miserable. I feel miserable. Okay. I feel fantastic. I feel fantastic. Excellent. Very good. Now, for this activity, guys, you are going to listen to this audio right here. You're going to listen to the audio. 80. Exercise 4. Listening. I have a headache. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Where do these people hurt? Write down the parts of the body. 1. I think I'm gonna go home early. I don't feel well. What's the matter, Ben? I think I have a cold, I have a headache, and I have a sore throat. Oh, that's too bad. Feel better. Okay, Two. so you're gonna listen to the activity, and then you're going to identify the body part that it hurts. For example, number one is head and throat. You will have five minutes. So I don't know what we're gonna do. Like, ya tengo resuelto eso. So. Sí, yo también. All right, guys, um, we already finished this activity, so we're going to go ahead and look at the next one. For the next activity, we are going to practice this conversation. Practice the conversation. Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn how to use positive and negative imperatives. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real-life setting. 
Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Don't Work Too Hard. Let's listen and practice. Don't work too hard. Hello, Ms. West. How are you today? Not so good. So what's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Hmm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. The conversation. All right, so we're going to practice the conversation in pairs. One student will be Dr. Young, one student will be Ms. West, and then vice versa. I want you to practice the conversation at least five times. Ready? Let's practice. Practice in pairs. Hi, Tatiana. Y después podemos intercambiarlo. Mm -hmm. Bye. 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 Uh -huh. Bye. Um, hello, Mr. West. How are you today? Not so good. So, what's wrong exactly? I am exhausted. Mm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. No, I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. Um, I am I am going to give you some pills. Take one pills every night after dinner. Okay. Um, don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes, don't work too hard. I write thing, Dr. Young. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Ahora no voy a iniciar y se continúa. Mm -hmm. Hello, Mr. West. How are you today? Not so good. So, what's wrong exactly? I am exhausted. Um, why are you so tired? I don't know. I host can sleep at night. Okay. Let's take a look at you. I am going to give you some pills. They want pills every night after diner. Okay. I don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes, don't knock work too hard. All right, thank you, Dr. Chong. Okay. Sí, practicamos. Sí, la pronunciación. Vaya. Hello, Miss West. How are you today? Not so good. So, what's wrong exactly? I am exhausted. Mm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I am going to give you some pills. Take one pills every night after dinner. Okay. 
And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes, I don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. Ay, qué bonito. Una vez más. <laughs> sí. <laughs> no podemos. Ok, bye. Hello, Mr. West. How are you today? Not so good. So, what's wrong exactly? I am exhausted. Um, why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I am want to give you some pill. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. I don't know, drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes, don't work too hard. All right, thanks, Dr. John. Okay. Bye. Hoy sí hay que decirlo ahí, ¿verdad? <ríe> Ay, me da pena. Pero yo siento que se nos oye bien. <ríe> sí, ya más o menos se escucha mejor como lo hemos practicado varias veces. Sí. Nada que ya al momento de decirlo nos vamos a trabar todo. Nos vamos a trabar. <ríe> ¿Te gusta lo practicar? La última. Una... ¿Ah? Eh, mole. Vaya. Doctor, I am, vamos a ver. Hello, Mr. West. How are you today? Not so good. So, what's wrong exactly? I am exhausted. Mm, why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you something. Take one pills every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes, don't work too hard. All right, thank Dr. Young. I see. <laughs> Cambia. Sí, se gusta una vez más. Bye. Mm -hmm. Hello, Mr. West. How are you today? Not so good. So, what's going on exactly? I am exhausted. Mm -hmm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I am going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. I don't know, drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes, don't work too hard. All right, thanks, Dr. John. You're welcome. <laughs> eh, no sé si lo quisiera, quisiera practicar una vez más. Pues aprovechemos antes que nos vayan a sacar de, de la conversación. <laughs> Está bien. A ver, eh, empiezo. Sí. Hello, Miss West. How are you today? Not so cool. So, what's wrong exactly? I am exhausted. Mm, why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes, don't work too hard. All right, thank you, Dr. Young. 
Vaya. No sé si... Ay, pero la pregunta que teníamos... No sé si es el teacher acá con nosotras y nos podría ayudar de la, del ejercicio anterior. Oh. Es que veo que... Teacher está... está por ahí. No creo que no. Ah, pues no. Bueno, practiquemos la última. <ríe> ya saben. Inicio, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Hello, Mr. Webb. How are you today? Not so good. So, what's going on exactly? I am exhausted. Um, why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I am going to give you some pill. Taiwan pill every night after diner. Okay. I don't know drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes, don't work too hard. All right. Thank you, Dr. John. Solo que tengo una duda con la palabra just, es just o just. En donde le dice, I don't know, I just can't sleep at night. El just, no sé cómo se pronuncia. No sé si es just o just. just yo creo que sí, I, vamos a ver, I don't know, I just can't see, de, sí, just, yo creo que just, I just can't sleep at night. Bye. Mm -hmm. Como de, sí, yo creo, yo así lo pronuncio también. Es como dormiste lo justo o duermes lo justo. O que no es, no es, no es, no es, no he dormido, no estoy durmiendo, no he dormido esta noche. O no justo es? no dormí esta noche. Ay, no puede dormir, ajá, ay, tú no. Uh -huh. Ajá, pues o sea, no lo sé, pero no he dormido. No. Anoche. Anoche. Uh -huh. okay. Just. Solo la palabra significa solo. Just. Just. Sí, just. Mm. Just. I... Bueno, como ya cuando se se hace una sola se oración. conjuga verdad con, Ajá, cuando con se los conjuga. demás algunas palabras por sí solas veo que a veces significan algo y ya cuando se arma una oración ya tienen otro sentido uh -huh. Uh -huh. ajá porque Ken eh, se vendría haciendo no puedo dormir por la noche, ¿no? sí. uh -huh. Entonces yo entiendo que es justo no puedo dormir por la noche o algo así. Lo precisamente veo. no puedo dormir. Ah, eso significa. Ay. All right, let me have two volunteers, please. Two volunteers, please. Mm -hmm. Let me have two volunteers. I am teacher. Okay, go ahead. You're going to be Dr. Young. Okay. Uh, hello, Miss West. How are you today? Okay, let me have um, Reina. You can be Miss West. Uh, not so good. So. What's wrong exactly? I am exhausted. Hmm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. 
and don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes, don't work too hard. All right, thanks, Dr. John. Okay, excellent. Very good, guys. Perfect pronunciation. All right, guys, that's all for today. We will continue on Monday. Please continue working on the platform, and we are going to see you on Monday. Good night, guys. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.